Hello and welcome to Tesori Home. Today we are bringing you our next episode in our Design Within Reach series where we tour everyday people's homes to show you that you can create a home you love within your means. Today we are sharing Kira Smokin and her beautiful home in California with you. Kira's home has so much personality and we're so excited to share just the inspiration behind her home and the heart behind her home. So without further ado, Let's see what Kira is up to. Hi. Hi, Welcome Kira. Me. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks Hi, for coming. Papa. Yes. Thanks for having us. Of course. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kira, for welcoming me aside. I always love to start by asking guests where you found your inspiration for home and how you got into um, just your style and loving design. For sure. I mean, for this house, as you'll see, it came with so much character. So like, that's literally where I got all the inspiration. Like every single room has a whole foundation to it as you can see in this room that we're in like it has the vaulted ce ceilings and it's mm -hmm. a little bit darker and moodier. So that's kind of the the aesthetic that I went for and then we'll move into the next room and you'll see that so really just like honoring the house as it came but also um, finding ways to infuse my own style and inspiration from vintage items which I know yes. you love as well yeah um, that's like my number one favorite hobby yeah. <laughs> I'm always at estate sales and flea markets so finding ways to like mix in those finds with like our modern furniture here and there mm -hmm. and really just like show my my own personality and my husband's yeah. for home decor so i love that yeah. as i mentioned like this room came with the vaulted ceilings mm -hmm. it's a little bit darker and i personally love like cabin life like i love a rustic cabin i would never just like make my whole house that way mm -hmm. but having one room be that way is so awesome for me i also love kind of the like western and like rodeo inspired kind of accent pieces so there's a few things like that in this room and again I would never make like my whole house like a western themed house but having this one room just feels like very exciting to me yeah and this this room like I love this room in the fall and the winter like in Christmas this is like my favorite room um and then in the summer like the next room is so you'll yes. see that okay so this corner we have our little record collection um and this is kind of the room that we'll hang out in when we have people over this lamp we actually get asked about all the time and it was kind of like a hand-me-down from um our my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law wow. um, i believe it's nova lighting because some people do ask about that but such a cool like statement piece we've also had people think that it's attached to the chair which is really funny it's not no is, it does look like it could literally be just a chair and a lamp that's but so funny. it's a cool statement piece for sure yeah i love that it reaches right into the center yeah it's a focal point yeah love that why don't you talk to us a bit cool. about your a bar area yes i mean we love to host so having a big wine collection and a big liquor collection is just kind of functional for us mm -hmm. like always having people over i've actually had to keep a lot of books in my basement because we don't have that much space but i love mm -hmm. having some books on display it like just obviously shows lots of personality and yes. i love reading so definitely and I'm loving this coffee table here. It feels like it works so well and yet it's like very different. I know, it's like, it, that's one thing that I really love about just like mixing modern, I mean this actually is vintage, but like mixing modern and vintage pieces. Like I never want my home to just be like so retro or anything. So I feel like having those unexpected pieces really helps with that. Yeah. Um, but this is a vintage find. Um, one of the first things I bought when we moved to LA and I will have it forever. Like it's just such a beautiful marble piece. It does weigh like 500 pounds <laughs> and was like a nightmare to get up our stairs, oh, but <laughs> sure. yeah, it was I worth love it. it. How would you say, like, what would be your tips for mixing those different, you know, different eras in a home, but making it work? I, I mean, for me, my role is often like a more modern, like large furniture piece. I feel like for me, a really old sofa like might date the place a little mm. bit. So having like more of a modern shaped sofa or um, chair and then like literally having, I mean, most of my like little items and like smaller accent pieces are vintage. Yeah. So like those bigger modern pieces balance out all the like many, many yeah. vintage pieces. That's yeah. that's really smart. All right, why don't we head into your second living room? Second right? living room, that's yes, <laughs> our family room, our second living room.
The lighting in here is insane. It's so nice, I know. So I actually think the history of this home, this used to be like a sunroom, like a, a porch, oh, okay. which is like so interesting. And you can yeah. kind of see that, it yes. seems that way, but definitely. Yeah, I'm glad it's now a room, but that's kind yes. of cool. <laughs> oh, so it was like close, it, this was outside? I think, I think so, from oh, okay. what we've gathered, I think so. Yeah. Wow, yeah. and this view is incredible it's too. It's nice, yeah. I can see why this is your favorite room in the summer. Yes, yeah, oh exactly. Gosh. It's also where we spend the most time just in general. It's where me and my husband are posted up on the couch watching all of our favorite movies Aww. and have both of our dogs like snuggled up in there. So, That's so yeah. cozy. <laughs> okay, so tell me, what, where, was the wallpaper here originally? It was here, okay. yeah. Um, I don't know if it's like fully original to the house, like if it's been there since day one, which was like 1923 or something, probably mm -hmm. not, um, but it has been here for a very, very long time. Okay, yeah. so is that, tell me how you started from like seeing the wallpaper in the room and like how you built this, created this space. As soon as I saw the wallpaper, I was like cottagey, like something mm -hmm. kind of like feminine, like a little bit Engli English countryside. Yes. Um, there's like some hints of that. Definitely. Um, but yeah, kind of immediately like grandma's house, like cottage and mm. I really love that aesthetic as well as all my other ones so yes. I was excited to kind of lean into that yeah you did it so well I see so many different patterns and I know that you have some of your own work your pillows yes yeah exactly and so by the way guys Kira she creates her own throw pillows and you can find her at Villa Francesca Villa Francesca yeah yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's brand new I just launched a few months ago but I I mean I love all home decor I love um, especially textiles and I personally think that like smaller items like throw pillows are such a good way and such an easy way to add a ton of personality and a ton of like patterns so all of my pillows have um, our own unique patterns on them and they will always probably be that way because yeah. that's just like my bread and butter but are all of these available on your site right yeah. now for purchase okay yeah. so we'll put the link here for you guys thank you and yeah we're working on our second collection right now so oh lots of gosh. new prints and yeah, excited. So this is, I, obviously each room is pretty quaint and small. So Very how much, do you, yeah. which I love, I yeah. love a cozy intimate space and yeah. when it's broken up, I feel like it's super fun. Do you have any advice for how to um, decorate a space and that, or design a space that is functional, that you have a space to host, like you guys love to host yeah. and, and also storage? Like what are your thoughts yeah. on that? As much as I'm like, I like to say refined maximalist. Like there's lots of like layering going on. I also like hate clutter and I like to get rid of, um, you know, too much clutter and yes. just kind of keep on top of that stuff. But in terms of designing a room that way, I feel like um, so much measuring goes into it. Like it took us forever to find this coffee table because mm. so many of them are a lot wider and this is such a narrow room. So yeah. really we just like, honestly, I don't think we got this until a year and a half into living here. And my husband was like going crazy. He's like, I need somewhere to put my feet. Yeah. Like I, we can't have no coffee table in here. We had this like tiny little round thing. Okay. So it's really just about being patient and like knowing that you'll find the right things that like work yeah. with your space rather than just like rushing in and ordering the first thing you see on, um, on a website because you need it to be done. Yeah. So, I know that's a tough thing. Like I, when I move into a new place, I've, I mean, I've lived in so many homes in my adult life and it's like always like you want to feel settled you want to get right into it but that's almost always like a regret if you do jump mm. into it like you are going to find so many cooler pieces if you wait and like just have some patience so yes yeah. i would actually love for you to talk to me about this couch it's so fun this couch so this couch was funnily enough something that we rushed into buying oh okay. is velvet underneath um, okay. and it's, it's blue. <laughs> Can I see? Can yeah. I peek? Yeah. I'm like so cute. Oh wow, what a different <laughs> vibe! Yeah, That's so, so funny. I mean, I, as I said, I love kind of a maximalist vibe, so it was like, yes, velvet in this room, that works. And it does, it's not that it doesn't work, but uh -huh. I definitely got, sorry, I definitely got sick of it okay. and wanted kind of, I wanted to be able to like layer all my pillows and just like have a little bit more going on. So the slip cover is great. Um, but I do love the shape, as I was saying with like modern furniture, mm -hmm. I do love the shape of this couch. It just being very like square and boxy, I feel like is modern and makes it a little bit um, just like contrast yes. everything else in the room a little bit. Definitely. Yeah. And like your Burlwood piece here. Yes, yeah. Like, I feel this like this was that. also one of our first purchases. Um, not vintage. This is from I think Crate and Barrel. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, fits the space perfectly. Has lots of storage, as we were talking about. So yeah, that's huge. Yeah, 
Hello. And then the coffee table, I believe is Moroccan brass. Wow. Um, so beautiful. Yeah, from a very cool store nearby in our neighborhood called Sunbeam. And this is a Facebook marketplace find, also one of my favorite places to Ooh. scroll. My husband's always like, how are you on that place so often? I know, because I it's find really good things. <laughs> like, <laughs> and then this was actually my great grandmother. My mom sent it like a year ago and I was like, a literally fits this window perfectly so that's so sweet yeah and i love your little yeah I, I added those they're just from amazon but i love like a kind of like eccentric little accent like nice. that and there's a lot of birds in here we have yeah. a little swan guy yeah. over there we have this like i think it's an egret so over cute. here um yeah a little book corner and this is also from the rose bowl um so sweet. peony painting one of my favorite kinds of flowers it. so all right, well, why don't we take a walk into the, the next bathroom. room? Yeah. If you're enjoying this video, I just wanted to take a quick second to let you know that you can catch the extended cut of this home tour plus every other home tour in our Design Within Reach series exclusively inside of our membership community. We dive even deeper into the design process, share more tips, and give you a behind the scenes look that you won't see anywhere else. In our membership, we offer so much more to help you refine your eye for design. Every month we host live calls with guest experts, interior designers, stylists, and more who share their insights and answer your burning questions in real time. Plus, we provide exclusive content you won't find on our YouTube or social media, as well as a community forum where we post design challenges and other fun activities to inspire your creativity alongside other home and design lovers. If you're passionate about creating a home you truly love within your means and you want to do it alongside a supportive community who will help guide you along your home journey, I would love for you to join us. All of the details can be found at the link in the description below. Now back to today's video. So this is again, a totally different yeah. space. I'm, this is so fun. So how did you, when you walked into this bathroom, and yeah. it was obviously this was the this, Yeah, it came like this. Yeah. Um, so we, we're not sure when this was like, which owner renovated this, I think it was, more on the recent side. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they had great taste. We mm -hmm. would never, we would never change this. It's uh -huh. awesome. The Profit tub is awesome. But yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's just like a fun, moody bathroom. Like yes. this, the tile when you have like a candle lit and a bubble bath going, it's like perfect. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> I love too because I feel like a lot of people again would come in and like they wouldn't see the vision for yeah. it. Yeah. And you've just been able to like lean into it and love it so yeah. much. Did you feel like? this home was kind of made for you? Very much. I was like taken aback by this house. Yeah, it does just feel like we were meant to be here. It, it yeah, the fact that I haven't wanted to like, you know, gut it or like really change anything has yeah. been really, really nice, really lucky for us. All right, awesome. Let's go into the kitchen. Yes. And now we're in a totally new space. Me totally too, yes. Very pink. <laughs> I'm, first of all, my first impression walking in here is I love the pops of red with the pink. Yes, I know. It's like so kind well. of unexpected, I feel like. Yeah. I love, I really love pink and red together. It's yes. very like Valentine's Eve, but not. No, because in the yellow too, like, yeah. well, not yellow, it's like chartreuse or whatever, even with your olive oil. Oh, like, I know, doesn't that go so it's, perfectly? It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> there, I'm like finding a new color palette that I love just yeah, being yeah. here because like the pink, the red, and the chartreuse is like. Yeah, that's, that's another thing. Like, I'm like, I would never, like in a bedroom, I would never do that. Right. But then in a room like this, you like, you can just have fun. And like, again, there's no rules. So both my husband and I love cooking and we both love hosting. So having, kind of those like pops of color and it just be like a very upbeat place is like exactly what I would want from a kitchen. Yes. So. In a kitchen, I love um, to display like functional things. So um, love, love olive oil. We have two different kinds of olive oil up here, both brands that we love and use all the time. Um, and then also like just having plates and bowls on display, like they, they look nice, yes. but they're also like, I'm reaching for them all the time. So it's not just like, home decor, it's like useful items. Yeah. Um, this was like a very fun find from an antique store that I, I think it was like $15. Like it was like definitely a steal. Wow. Um, and very cool and it's signed 1968. So I believe 
That's when it's from. Um, I, that's one of those things that I like just want to. Okay, bye. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll keep an eye on it as you're leaving. But. Yeah, and then this was a plate that my um, best friend brought back for me from France. So, and it goes like so perfectly. It does. So. Obviously, this is a very small kitchen. Yeah. So you have to, you know, if you're having something on display, it yeah. can't j purely be. No. It has to be functional. Yeah, yeah so exactly. How have you made that work in this space? Because yes, even so looking behind you, you have... <laughs> yeah, so that is, I guess, our only complaint with the house is the kitchen that it came with. Mm -hmm. And again, it came with the coolest like foundation to the kitchen. It's so beautiful, but um, no stove. So this is our burner situation. And we have a stove top or a countertop stove as well. And then we have a pizza oven and a barbecue outside. So we have learned to make do mm -hmm. and we have definitely adjusted. And I mean, we have hosted multiple Thanksgivings. Um, we have like pizza nights all the time and we have people over and I feel like often I'm like, how do we even do that? But then we just do and we just yeah. make it work. Yeah, we are looking to renovate the kitchen a little bit and expand on it because that will make our lives a lot easier. Yeah. <laughs> but I love that that hasn't stopped you from hosting and entertaining because no, yeah. yeah. that's really, I feel like it's easy to feel if you're in a tiny space, oh, well, I don't have enough space to have yeah. people over. Yeah, yeah. But it's so important. Like that's what a home is for is exactly. to build that community. It's like our favorite thing to do. So that's we just so um, had to make it work. You but had to do I it. I feel like if like me like three years ago before we had this house was like, you don't have a stove or dishwasher, by the way. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. If you don't have a stove or a dishwasher, but you have like 15 person dinner parties, they'd be like, I, why, why, why would I do yeah. that? But it's just what we love doing and we make it work. So. Well, shall we go into the second this is, part? Yeah. This is yeah. The, the bonus kitchen. Okay. So this is the area that we're seeing if we can kind of renovate and expand the kitchen to. There's a chance we can knock down this wall if it isn't load bearing. Okay. So it would kind of open up the space and then we're hoping to do a full countertop going along this wall. So okay. just have like way more counter space. Um, and then I would have to figure out what I'm gonna do design wise because even as you move into this room, the, the style changes a little bit. Yes. Obviously it's like full pink and red in there and this is kind of the like blue and white coastal, a little bit more like antique -y yes. look. So I will have to adjust if we renovate the yeah. kitchen, but no I'll make it work. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I love the blue and white. Um, and also I just love, like you touched on this earlier, are all your plate decor. I have lots of plates, yeah. And a lot of them do have stories. So this was actually, um, we bought this in Lucca, Italy, and we bought it before our wedding to put like our custom matchbooks on. Oh. So I was like, this is really handy. We'll buy this, it'll look nice at the wedding, but then I'm gonna go like hang it up at home. So that was nice, yeah. I love that. And this is one of my favorite vintage finds ever. Um, this was from the Rose Bowl Flea, okay. and um, vintage marble, tile. I saw it and I was like, we do not have a place in our house for this. And I was like, my husband didn't come that time. I was with my family and I was like calling him, like asking him to measure different areas of our house. I was like, can it be a desk? Like, what can it oh, be? Yeah. And we didn't know. And I was like, I just, I think I just have to buy it. Like, we'll figure it out. Again, luckily he's supportive most of the yes. time. <laughs> no, I was like, we don't have a place for this item, but Aww. it works so perfectly in here and it adds some extra counter space and it's just, it's a kind of a focal point in this room now, yes. um, as well as this vintage stained glass pendant light that I got recently as well. Wow. Into the bedroom. Another room that's bathed in light because it's on the same. I know the light in here is so nice. It's like as soon as I wake up, I'm like, open the blinds. Oh my like, gosh. Yeah. That would be so and also it's so nice that you're like surrounded by nature. Yeah, it feels like kind of like a tree house in here. Yes. Which is really nice. And I feel like sometimes people like see that and they know I'm in LA and they're like, Where where are you though? Yeah. Because it doesn't really it's not what you think of when you think of LA. So it's Yeah, nice. definitely. Yeah. So talk to me about your inspiration for this room. Yeah, this room, I mean, it's very like coastal inspired. And as I was saying before, I want my room to always feel like quite like peaceful and serene. So there isn't, unlike the rest of the house, there isn't that much color or even that much like layering of everything. Mm -hmm. That said, I'm still gonna add a couple things, but mm -hmm. um, mostly just like a very light blue and white theme. I love it. Um, and that's just, yeah, it just also came, came kind of naturally to this room. It has kind of a shiplap style wall, as you can see. It's yeah. like wood paneling that had been painted over. 
Um, so that also makes me think of a very kind of coastal and cottage aesthetic. Yeah. So um, this lamp is one of the most asked about things that I have, I think, and it's vintage Ralph Lauren wow. um, from a very nice store called Rubbish, funnily enough. And then we have more plates on display over here. Um, as you know, I love displaying my plates. Yes. This one is from Maine and it has a lobster on it, which is like my favorite food. So I was like, <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> need, to, need to display that. Yeah, um, bedding. I almost always have linen on our bed. It's just like so light and airy mm -hmm. and um, love to often be layering a few different prints, so not a ton going on right now, but we've got a little bit of floral in the back and then we've got the Villa Francesca floral pillows as well. I've been meaning to add curtains to this room forever and I have not found ones that I liked or that worked. I ordered one pair and they just didn't work with the space. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm actually gonna be, I have a new print for my brand, so I'm gonna make custom ones of that print Amazing. and I think they're gonna, gonna go so perfectly in this room. Um, so those will cover the windows here but then I've also been thinking about painting the trim in this room, which is currently like a really nice cream. But I think I'm gonna do like kind of a light blue accent color oh, and just that'll kind of add that little bit more like maximalist vibe while still keeping it super, super simple and yes. serene in here. So hopefully that looks good, but I think that's my plan right now. I love that idea. And I love this little hallway you have leading yes. to your- Yeah, this is a really fun little kind of vanity room that I made. Mm, so cute. So there was nothing in here really. So I just added the tall wallpaper, um, source this vintage kind of console table. And it's just where I keep my perfumes and some like creams and stuff like that. Um, and like, I just, yeah, it's, it's not really a room for anything, but somehow it's like one of my favorites because mm. it's just like very pretty and it's the perfect kind of um, addition to the bedroom. All right, well, why don't we head back down and right. so we can chat a little bit more. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you again so much for taking us through your beautiful home. It's been so fun to see and hear more about you and see that throughout. It's been so nice. Aww. Thank you for coming. Of course. I would love to know what is something you hope that people feel in your home? Definitely like a warmth mm -hmm. and just like a positivity. Mm -hmm. Just like you would be happy to hang out here you know yeah. like it's just like I said earlier like it's a very not fussy place like I feel like it looks and feels lived in it doesn't feel like you know a showroom which funnily enough I feel like I had one apartment that just like looked a little too perfect and sterile and I was mm. like it, it's nice to be in a house that feels lived in and real so are there any things you point to that you're like really inspired by even in, in your childhood, maybe things that like you now see coming back up as an adult and like living on your um, own? Actually quilts are something that like mm. were, I don't know about part of my childhood, but like my mom made this quilt. Um, and my mom is someone who like has always had like a very happy home. Like we would like paint the walls, like she would let me paint my room whenever. And like, she is very unfussy, like oh. has like, you know, like, so many plates and so many like cool glasses from all her travels. So she's like very much um, someone who just has like everything she loves in her house. Um, so like things like quilts that I feel like are kind of like a quote unquote grandma-ish mm. thing. Like I feel like that's like a really loved item these days. Yeah. Um, and people are really loving just kind of those items that are coming back around. Well, I would love to know if there's one takeaway that um, our audience could take from this video you sharing your home your story mm -hmm. what would you want that to be um well again that like there doesn't need to be any rules mm -hmm. you can have more than one style you can showcase that um and just like trusting your gut with your style and like if you like certain things and you want to put them together like th it's probably going to work because it's mm -hmm. your style mm -hmm. and um like i said the no fussiness just like throw things together if you want to change them you can change them again yeah but. Well, thank you so much yeah, for taking you. the time to chat and share your home with us. If you guys want to follow Kira on Instagram, you can find her at Kira Smolkin. We'll put her handle here. Make sure to check out her shop, VillaFrancescaHome.com, if you want to purchase any of her throw pillows that you've seen throughout this video. Keep an eye out for the next launch. And you can also check out a link if you want to shop any pieces in Kira's home. We'll put a link down here for you guys to check. Thank you, Kira. Thank you so much. Yes. This was so nice. Yay. Yeah. We did a high yeah. five. <laughs>